Hi folks, it's Eric back with another Eric Hepperly Designs video tutorial. Today we're talking about WordPress administration. We're going to show you exactly how to download and install WordPress from WordPress.org. Okay, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is go to WordPress.org uh, slash download. You'll find the button that says download WordPress. You'll click it. And WordPress will download as a zip file wherever you uh, ended up putting your WordPress. You'll want to make sure you know where that is. See, mine says version uh, 4.9.8. So, and then what you do is you go to your web host and you do upload new files. So let's we're going to assume that you've got a blank. Um, uh, or um, let's say empty domain name. You need to have a domain name for this tutorial. Uh, so you just bought a domain name and now you're going to install WordPress. Okay. So you click upload new files and make sure you're in the root of the domain name and you'll know that because it'll just have .com and nothing else after it. Um, Depending on your web host, you'll see www before the domain name with a slash, or you'll see uh, public underscore HTML with a slash. It's the same thing. Now, you want to click Extract Archives Automatically or whatever your option is that, that's similar. If you don't have that, then you'll need to uh, upload the files and the folders in a different way. So I've already uploaded mine, as you can see. So we'll go ahead and exit out of there. Sorry, this isn't a step-by-step -step tutorial because I've already done some of it. And I've actually tried to record this video a couple different times. And it ended up way long. So I figured out uh, what you need to know. And if you want to know anything in more detail, feel free to leave me a comment. And I'll, let, and I'll uh, uh, respond or make a video uh, to address it. Okay. So here's all the files that we need for WordPress. This is called WordPress Core. Nothing special added. It's just the basics. All right. Next thing you want to do is you want to create a database. Again, your web host may have cPanel or some kind of other control panel. This is what my uh, 50 webs web host control panel looks like, MySQL databases. So I go into MySQL databases, click Add MySQL, and then it gives me my prefix, and then I have a very limited, I can only add like eight extra characters or something, and then it tells me that it's too long if I put anything after that. So keep that in mind. Password, you put your password, and then you do add my SQL. I've already created the database that I need for my project. You create the one for yours. And next what we're going to do is we're going to go into... the website. So go to the domain. In my case, it's eheperly.com and hit enter. And once you do that, it'll launch the WordPress installer. Of course, I'm speaking English, so I'm going to click English. It says it's going to need the database name, database username, database password, and database host. Click let's go. All right. So in my case, the database name that I used was this right here. So I'm going to come over, I'm going to paste that in. The username is the same. Password. Okay, I'm going to pause while I put it. Okay, I entered my password. I used the standard WP underscore prefix that it offered. And then I clicked OK, and now it says, all right, Sparky, you've made it through this part of the installation. Once you get to there, you'll get the Run the Installation button and click it. Then you just wait for one second, and it comes up and wants a little bit more information. Now it's asking for site title. Site title is going to be um, like the name of your site. So for mine, it's eHepperly. So I'm going to say eHepperly.com. I can change that later, later if I want, but that's what I'm going to call it for now. Uh, username. Yep, that's the username I'll use. Password. Let's go ahead and hide the password. And I'll use that password. Uh, 
It says it's weak. Um, I'm going to do confirm use of weak password because that's what my choice is. You may want to choose a password that they that they give you because uh, they can gen um, the WordPress application will generate a password for you. Uh, you just need to remember to save it somewhere. And so I'm going to say confirm, and it's asking for my email. So I'm going to say Eric Hepperly at ericheperly.com. And I, for this one, I do want to discourage search engines because I'm not trying to do SEO or anything on this. I don't want Google to see this. This is something that's just for me to uh, build websites for testing and stuff like that. So I'm going to do install WordPress. Now you, if you want, if this isn't a testing website and this is an actual live blog or e-commerce site, you, you want to make sure to not click discourage search engines because you want search engines to find your stuff. So this is WordPress been installed. And I'll go ahead and click log in. And see, it remembers me because I've logged in uh, with this account before on different WordPress websites and WordPress has the intelligence and so does Chrome to remember this for me. So it's already got my password. I'm going to click remember me and then I'll click log in and let's see what we got. And just take just a second there. Okay. Once you see the dashboard, then you know everything worked good you can go through and look at the go to settings and go to general and I'll show you this is where your site title is so you can change that at any time your tagline is uh, just a place for Eric Hepperly to build and test websites boom and it says my URL is eheperly.com email address I'm going to keep the date format there at October 8th 2018 I like it like that time format it is 10:59 a.m. where I am so I need to change the time zone to central time so I'll go up here and it'll be like Chicago or something Los Angeles, that's West Coast. Chicago, yeah. And I'll click Save Changes. And now the one last thing to show you that uh, show you that it works is you go over to eheperly.com. And boom, I'm installed. Thank you for joining us today. Stay tuned for our next tutorial where we uh, show you more stuff probably about WordPress. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.